Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Wednesday, May the 26th, and welcome to our video commentary. I have a post over at the American Thinker today talking about what is happening in Minneapolis, because it's happening not just in Minneapolis, but in many other cities as well, and that is that the cities do not have enough police officers. They're losing them. Police officers are leaving these cities if, if they can there's an exit, you know, of police officers who simply don't want to do their job in many of these cities. They have a difficult job to begin with, but if that job is made more difficult by the political class, well, then they're going to leave. You know, I just got back from Maryland because I had to go to see my mom. And I had a chance to talk to some old friends when I was there. And I found it amazing that the city of Baltimore, I guess a city of about a million people, only has 700 police officers. They actually need 1,200, but they only have 700. Now, why is that? Because they simply cannot recruit anybody to work in Baltimore. Can you blame them? Can you blame anybody? No. The answer is that many of these cities have made the job of policing a job that is already very difficult to begin with because we're asking people to go in harm's way and defend citizens and go face to face with some of the worst people in our community, it's a very difficult job to begin with, but we're making it more and more difficult when you see what just happened in Minneapolis and many of these cities uh, last year. So they're losing, they're losing police officers. The mayor of Minneapolis uh, is now asking for help. He's asking the federal government for law enforcement agents and law enforcement people. And hopefully he can get them because uh, the crime uh, the crime rates in Minneapolis and Seattle and New York City and in many of these other places is through the roof. And the police officers are saying, no, we're not going to work here. We're not going to work here. If we can get out, we will. Now, others, of course, do not have the luxury of getting out, so they have to stay on the job. But at the first opportunity, those are going to be gone, too. And I think we're seeing the consequences of bad politics, bad governing. You know, again, as I said before, if you make it difficult to be a police officer, they're not gonna, you're not gonna find police officers. It's already a very difficult job, and we're grateful that these men and women who wear the uniform are willing to risk their lives for us. They're doing things that we don't wanna do. They're going into buildings, they're, you know, policing tough areas of the city. They do this every day, and we should be grateful for them, and I think most, most Americans are. But unfortunately, a lot of these politicians in these blue cities didn't understand what they were doing. And what they've done is they've driven out the police and they've put the criminals in charge. And it's not working for the citizens of many of those communities. It's an absolute travesty what is happening in many of these blue cities. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.